Right, so first thing, we're just going to solder on the four um, pins here uh, into these holes. Okay, all soldered there, and we've got the four pins soldered there. So you've got the four headers of, um, as you can see there, uh, ground, TX, RX, and 3.3 volt. So the next thing we need to do is put a, a 10K resistor, uh, 10K resistor here, um, in line of the <coughs> RX and 3.3 volts here. So we've got the RX here and the 3.3 volt here, and the resistor needs to go in between uh, those two. And the reason for this resistor um, is to stop interference from the uh, switch. So this is a bit fiddly. That's in place. The next thing is to wire two um, wires that are gonna act as the switch uh, between ground and um, the RX. So I could, um, on a lot of the others, I've uh, ground is the farthest one there and RX is there. I've actually soldered the wire onto there and there, those, those pins like that. And one through that. Okay, after uh, a bit of fiddling, um, that's, that's the soldering taken care of. Not fantastic job, but I think it'll do. And there we go, all back together with the two wires coming out there. And here's another one I did earlier where I've done the, uh, I've got the 10K resistor there between 3.3 and RX. And then if I turn it over, as I said on this one, I've done the, I've soldered the, um, the two wires here uh, to ground and RX there directly onto the pins. Um, but that's no good if you haven't programmed it yet. Okay, so we're gonna flash the Sonoff Basic. So we've got it wired up to the USB. Uh, while plugging it in to the PC, press the button down and then push it in. And that will start in flash mode. Let it off. COM4, select the son of basic bin, flash. And you can see it's starting to write the flash file. It's using the easy peasy mega ESP tool.exe. And you just download the son off basic bin file and you can see it's flash complete. If we go to the Wi-Fi and somewhere there we should see a Sonoff. There it is. Open that and connect. And give it the SSD Wi-Fi and your password. Cat22 or whatever. So save that, that's now rebooting. So go to your router and find the there it is so 31 web page <clears throat> go to configuration other
and we can configure it with um, a Belkin Wemo uh, emulation so you can see it on uh, Alexa. Save that, it will reboot. Okay, and you can toggle it on and off there. Here it's clicking. Uh, and in here you've got a console and you can see the you know the power on and off and, and so on. So in the configuration module we've got the pin configuration here so we've got the serial in and serial out the serial in is the rx that we attach the wire to you change that to switch uh, switch one and save that um, they do also say turn off the logging this one here serial logger can interfere with the switch, so we turn it off. Okay. Back to your main menu. <coughs> and then go to console. And then if we just look at the just make a contact with these two wires. Okay, so previously we had the uh, live in, live loop out and switch wire, all them three wires going into the ceiling rows of the um, landing light. So I took those all out, checked with the multimeter which was live in, for example, and then put a new, um, a new junction box there and connected the live in, live, uh, live loop out and switch wire to there done a new live out to the Sonoff basic input and then uh, a separate wire out to the output and then connected the switch wire to the two wires going into the Sonoff. Now the switch wire isn't live at all. Um, it's got no current through it. All it's doing is making a connection between the two wires that, that are soldered onto the Sonoff basic um, RX and ground and it just makes a connection between the two. So there's no live in the switch wire at all. I pulled all the wires out so you could uh, see where they were going but um, once pushed back in this is what it looks like.